Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new Warhammer 40k painting video. As per usual with all these videos, though, if you like them, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, drop a comment down below. I love hearing back from you guys, it goes a massive way to help the channel too. And without further ado, let's crack on with it. So, in this painting video, I am painting up the Royal Warden that we got from a Necron range that came with issue one of Imperium magazine. Um, it has been painted for a few days. Uh, it's a very simple paint scheme, but it is also my own dynasty as well. So with your dynasties of your Necrons, you can choose to make your own, depending on the colour scheme that you want to paint. Um, I may come back to this and change a few little details and add some stuff to it um, where I've got some ideas bouncing around, but I've just chosen not to do them just yet but I might, may go back to it, you never know. Now, for this one, we'll jump into it and I'll explain the dynasty and go through that at the very end. Let's get on with it. So, of course, I started off with mechanic Standard Grey as the standard base coat of pretty much all my models and I'm layering over with Iron Breaker over the top of all the metal work. Now, with Necrons, they are living metal, so I thought Iron Breaker is definitely the right way to go with this. It is entirely up to you how you want to paint them, though. You could have them a painted enamel kind of metal, or you could have them bare metal. Entirely up to you. It, either way, you just need to enjoy your painting. But this is a very, very simple scheme that I'm using. And then, I layered over certain areas, like the chest, uh, certain panels over the arms and the legs, with Rune Lord Brass. This is a really, really nice colour. Um, I actually got a part of this before painting a Necron, and that was to paint up in Draster, the Celestial Spear, and it works very, very well. It's a very nice colour. And then I just slapped on Norn Oil over all of the metal of the model. This makes it a lot different and makes kind of darkens everything and makes everything stand out that little bit nicer it's a very nice way of doing things it gives it a bit of warmth a bit of depth and um, changes how it looks in a very very simple technique as well and then once that was dry i dry brushed back over with iron breaker again it brings out that shine, it brings a little bit of shine to it. You don't have to press too hard, you don't have to go over everything as much as you probably would, um, but it will bring out a very, very nice look to the model. Um, I did go over the areas that were Rune Lord Brass, and then I went back over them with Rune Lord Brass afterwards as well to just bring it back to that colouring, just so it stands out a little tiny bit more as well for myself. And then I literally, as part of this new dynasty that I've created, I've gone over the head with Ethematic Blue. Ethematic Blue makes it stand out a little bit more. It also adds a metallic twang to the kind of the head and the paint scheme. Uh, I also went over the runes over the collarbone area of the model as well, and it makes it look pretty decent in my opinion. I quite enjoy it. I thought it actually looks really, really nice, and it's uh, one that I've not seen before so which is the main reason for doing it for the gun which i haven't shown here i've gone over with the bad and black and certain areas with corex black and Cor corvex corvus black that's one uh, and then gone over the actual firing chambers for the rifle that he's carrying with the lupus pink contrast and then some uh, pink highlights as well from Army Painter which works very very well and makes it stand out a little bit more as well so it's always really really good to see and it, um, it looks pretty decent I quite like it I like the colour scheme I like the way it looks and it works very very well for what I had in mind when I was kind of playing about with it now for this Necron I have of course I've set up my own Necron dynasty now this is easily done so if you have the Necron Codex, or know somebody who has it and you can borrow it from, it will walk you through how to set up your Necron Dynasty to an extent. Apart from picking up the picking the name. Now, naming it took me a while. This was what took me probably the longest. It probably took me almost as long as painting the model did. So 
I will have gone with creating my own unique name for it, but I have used two things. So if you use select words such as tech, SAR, SAN, and stuff like that, and then you put it in the front or after certain words, it makes it sound kind of Necron-ish. So for instance, I chose the name of a former necropolis, of an ancient necropolis, but it was a Persian, I think. And I have also used the word Tech. So the name is Tech Gargor of its dynasty. And it is a pretty unusual one. So you can mean it sounds quite Necron ish, which is what I wanted it to do. Um, they also have their traditions as well. So you'll pick out a tradition, an awakening process, and a few other bits and pieces. So they have the tradition of pitiless hunters. So they hunt without mercy. And they are also part of the ancient stir awakening. So they are an ancient uh, dynasty. They've stirred a lot long after that some of the others did. Um, they are held in an envious position because they are part of the ancient dynasties as well. And a few other bits and pieces as well like that. So really, really good stuff. I quite like it. I think it's a pretty kind of unique. Uh, or hopefully a little bit unique-ish. Um, the only thing I haven't picked out is any stratagems or anything like that. But that can be picked out at a very much later date, really, in all honesty. Now... For this Royal Warden, I also thought it's a character, really. So it needs to have a name. It needs to have other bits and pieces, which have all been picked using the dice roll system that Imperium Issue 1 introduced to us. Now, I haven't done this for the Space Marine Primaris Lieutenant yet, but I will do that in the near future uh, and will create a bit of story for them and stuff like that as well. So this Royal Warden, his name is Ek Nothet Raket. And he is the unblemished and opposer, oppressor of the weak, not opposer. Uh, and he is also envious of those who still have flesh. His weapon is called a vermin scourge. And yeah, that is genuinely it. it it's pretty unique. Um, I quite like it. It's, yeah, a bit more fun. It adds a bit of flavour to the game, which is what very, we always want with all our war games, really, and our tabletop titles and everything like that. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the description down below, in the kind of comments down below, what you've been up to, if you painted up your Royal Ward, and if you, have you named it? What dynasty have you used? Have you created your own? Anything like that. Or if you've been painting up Necrons before, what have you gone with? Have you gone with the regular uh, dynasties, or have you created your own dynasty? What have you been doing? What have you been doing with them? That's what I want to know. What colour schemes have you gone for? You can share your photos as well if you want to join my Discord. It's in the top comment down below. It's also in the, the actual video description. By all means, jump into it, post a picture, and um, have a bit of chat about Warhammer. It's always good fun. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, catch you soon. Bye-bye now.